Tucked in the trees of Wharton State Forest lies the historic Batstow Village. People kind of think there's nothing in the Pine Barrens, and that's not really true. Evidence of a once thriving company town and wealthy business owners remain today. More than 40 buildings still stand. This story began in 1766. The village was known as Batstow Ironworks. It later evolved into a glassmaking community. Workers lived in these small homes. It cost about $2 a month to rent in the 1880s. The village had everything workers needed. Things like a blacksmith shop, sawmill, ice house, post office, and general store, where workers had to shop, says Michelle Hughes of the New Jersey State Park Service. They're getting paid in company script. They're getting paid in money that they can only use at the general store. <laughs> In the 1870s, Philadelphia businessman Joseph Wharton purchased the property and focused on agricultural and forestry endeavors. He also spent $40,000 to renovate the mansion on the land. It became his family's third home. They only spent six to eight weeks a year here. Behind the scenes, as many servants cared for the house and family. People are interested in that, and the first thing they kind of think of is Downton Abbey, even though it's a little later than this, but it's relatable for them. The call bell chimed for the servants. As you are in any family room in the house, there's going to be a call bell, a little circular thing that you would turn that uh, is connected through wires through the walls, not electric wires, just pull wires, <laughs> to a bell in servants' areas. And that's going to let the servant know that you need them in whatever room you're in. Not every guest who knocked on the door here at Batstow Mansion was received. This entryway was considered a waiting room of sorts, and upper class guests would provide their calling card to the servant. The the servant would then give that card to the Whartons and they would decide whether or not visitors were allowed farther into the house. Fortunately today, visitors don't need calling cards to visit the mansion. The state purchased the property in the 1950s. Now it's open to the public. I kind of think something to think about here that kind of is humbling to me is it's natural resources that brought people out here to begin with. And now it's, it's, it's the natural resources that are bringing people out again today, but for recreation purposes instead of business. And also for a history lesson that dates back 250 years. In Hamilton, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.